All right, now we're going to look at extruding compared to inset extruding. So we go to grab a cube, hit tab, and we're randomly going to just put control R uh, edge loops in here. Don't be picky, just hit control R. Now let's extrude. Let's go and say this L right here, we want to extrude it by hitting control E and we want to set it in just a little bit. Well, there's a couple of different ways we could do it. Um, I could go in here and smooth the vertices, okay, and you can see that that insets it just a little bit. We could scale it by hitting R and then move it just ever so slightly this way and that way and then readjust the edges here and here, one edge at a time. This is called insetting. And what it does is allow you to make a shape within a shape, just like that, and yield good topology. Well, let's do that over here on the other side. Again, it has to be an odd shape. We can use inset extrude. Now, to do this, we can hit spacebar and type in inset faces. That's one way to do it. I use this command more than anything else in Blender just about, so I like to have a shortcut. So if we go to mesh, go to faces, and go to inset faces and right click on it, add shortcut, mouse over the top of it and hit I. Now if I hit I on the keyboard, it sets it in. The only thing else I have to do is go over here and adjust my thickness. Perfect. Now you can choose different variations. There's boundary, there's offset even. You can see what happens if you leave that unchecked, so I wouldn't do that. And last but not least, in the end, it'll select outer or inner. Depends. Now if you have this unchecked, it will allow you to do the next step, which is maybe control E and then inset it in. Perfect. So that is inset extrude versus extrude. Enjoy.